Okay, peace, 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 family. This is Michael Jordan, a.k.a. The Serious Alchemist, back with another video. Um, this Saturday, I'm doing something different. I have a guest with me today. Her name is Latanya uh, Colton. Carthon. Carthon. Catania Latanya Carthon. And um, she is a hypnotherapist. And today, we're going to be talking about hypnosis. And so I'm going to hand the mic over to Tanya and let her introduce herself. Hi, everyone. Like Michael stated, my name is Latanya Carthon. I am a hypnotherapist, and I've been doing this work for now for two, two years, two years. Um, I love the, the line of hypnotherapy, which I'll explain, you know, once we go more into the into our um, interview. But um, hypnotherapy is just or hypnosis is just a form of um retraining your subconscious okay and once we get in more into the to the subject you know i'll talk more in detail but yes i'm excited to be here thank you for having me on the show um yes. it was such a pleasure meeting you last week and um here we are new connection yes yes, yes <laughs> indeed 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 here we are here we are um yeah so um tanya my first question is um what exactly is hypnosis? Could you explain to the family what exactly is hypnosis? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, hypnosis is basically a, um, like I stated earlier, a form of retraining your subconscious. Okay. Um, hypnosis, a lot of people, when they hear that, that word hypnosis, oh, people just, you know, that scares them. And what I want people to understand, I want to break that stigma of what hypnosis is because what people don't understand is that hypnosis is being used on you every single day, every single minute. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing I like to just let you understand, but what hypnosis is, is basically mm -hmm. you getting your body, getting your mind into a theta state. Okay. okay. So once your mind is in a theta state, it is open to receive suggestions. Okay. Um, in the medical term, we call it suggestions. But just for this term, we'll just say affirmation. So it, you can either say affirmation or suggestion. Okay. The subconscious is very repetitive. And when working with the subconscious, you have to repeat things over, over, over. And that's why I say, I ask people all the time, do you think you've ever been hypnotized? So I'm going to ask you, Michael, do you think you've ever been hypnotized before? Um, I probably have. I okay. would say yes, I probably have, not knowing... Um. But I know what you're saying is true because I read the book, The Power of the Subconscious Mind, and it talks about re repetition and all that stuff. So I know what you're saying is very, very Absolutely. true. Absolutely. Um, knowingly, uh, have I been um, hypno hypno hypnotized? I would say no, but unknowingly, probably yes. Okay. So that's a good answer. Most people, when I ask that question, they immediately say, no, I've never been hypnotized. And mm -hmm. this is where I like to break down the stigma because- I want people, especially in our culture, to get comfortable with things that they are afraid of and gotcha. start researching the things that you are afraid of. Yes. Most of most of the time, the things that we were taught to be afraid of are the things that we need to find out about. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> hypnosis is one of them. OK, because when when I ask that question, most people say, no, I've never been hypnotized. Mm -hmm. And I say, OK, so let me give you an example. Have you ever been riding? You get in your car and you start on your destination. Maybe you're going, you leave your house to go to work and you're on your way. And then all of a sudden you're at, at, at work, you know, and you don't remember how you got there. You don't remember stopping at the stop sign. You don't remember stopping at the red lights. You don't even remember making the turns where you made to get there. Well, that is an example of hypnosis. Your subconscious basically took you and drove you to your destination. That's how powerful it is, okay? And then you're like, man, I don't even remember getting here. How did I get here? Your brain went into a theta state while you were driving mm -hmm. and it took it took control. And mm -hmm. this example lets you show, it shows you how powerful our mind is, our subconscious is. Yeah. And we're only using, the tip of my thumb mm -hmm. is how much, we're using our brain, okay? It's just so much more to, to use. So that's kind of an example of what hypnosis is mm -hmm. in a sense. And like I said, I like I want to break down that stigma of hypnosis being something spooky. Another example I like to give people is 
television, okay? So when you're looking at TV, even through mailers that come through the mail, advertisements that come through the mail, you know, um, I'll stick with the TV example though. You know, you go to sleep every night with the TV on, maybe you, and I used to go to sleep before I knew this. I used to go to sleep with the TV on every night and I would leave it on the Lifetime channel. Now, you know what Lifetime is. It's nothing but drama, chaos, and confusion on there. Killing, stealing, and destroying, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I would fall asleep with that on and I'm having nightmares. I don't know why I'm having a nightmares. Well, your subconscious is listening <laughs> while you're sleeping, okay? And you're having nightmares. You don't know why you woke up hungry, want a McDonald's, you know? Mm -hmm. All of this is programming your subconscious. And as kids, as adults now, you know, we got programmed in school by saying the Pledge of Allegiance and so yeah. many other things, yes. you know, that programmed us. And now we don't understand why we act the way that we act now. And mm -hmm. so with hypnosis, it helps you to break those patterns. OK, and, and hypno as a hypnotherapist, I help you to break those patterns that you have belief systems that you have gained over your lifespan to reprogram your subconscious and with reprogramming your subconscious will open up new gateways within your brain to give you a better outcome, a new outcome, new, new vision, new focus. Mm -hmm. And then you can start attracting new things into your life. Mm, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the way <laughs> you broke that down. <laughs> and, I, and I also love the examples you gave, you know, the examples were perfect with the television and mm -hmm. that's, and for me, I, I have an example of it. You know, this is when I was a child and my son, I didn't realize I was about 13 years old when this happened. My example, I'm going to give, but I love music when I was a child. I love mm -hmm. music. And mm -hmm. this is going to be a little negative. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but oh, well, I was a child. It's okay. You know, here it goes. But um, I love music so much. I had a dream one time that I stole this tape player from downtown and uh -huh. because I grew up in Nebraska. And I love music. And my dad didn't have a lot of money to buy me stuff, you know. So, you know, we didn't have a lot of money. But I love music growing up. I just love music. And I didn't know where this love of music was coming from because I used to play the saxophone as well. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I, I had dreamed that I had stole this tape recorder from downtown. And do mm -hmm. you know the next day I woke up and went downtown and stole that tape recorder the exact way I dreamed it? Exactly yeah. the way I dreamed it. Yeah. But now yeah. looking back, I realized that was my sub. I was it was being used in a wrong way. Then Absolutely. because I was young and didn't understand, but looking back, hindsight 2020, my subconscious mind was working way back then. Absolutely. I, I didn't know how to use, I didn't know what, you know, control mm -hmm. it or nothing, but that was my subconscious mind that did that. Absolutely. And I'm so glad you said that. I'm yeah. so glad you gave me that example because you said something very important and I want to make sure I say this. Okay. Um, you said, you know, it you were it, it was being used for bad. You know, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to say what you did was, you know, bad. bad you know? Right, right. Well, but yeah, yeah, it was it was being used for bad. And I want to I want to hone in on that because mm -hmm. this is why I say it is so important for us to understand how the subconscious mind work. Mm -hmm. This should have been something that we were taught in science and class. OK, right. in school. Right. when we took biology, I used to also be a nursing major. Mm -hmm. But when I was in the RN school. We didn't learn anything about the subconscious in psychology and, and all of that. You know, we did study human behavior, but they did not talk about the subconscious the way it did. But back to your, to my point of what you said is hypnosis can be used in good in a good situation and bad situation. And this is where I want to kind of get into the world where we are right now. Um, when you don't know your subconscious dictates everything that you do in your life mm -hmm. somebody that really wanted to manipulate you and get an outcome that you don't understand why can use this okay i say this and i relate it to the government i relate it to school systems indoctrination i release it pa pastors good point these these are this is very very important because the people who run this world, who run this country, are using hypnosis on us, yes, okay? Yes, <laughs> they yes. are using hypnosis on us, mm -hmm. and we are unaware We are unaware of this. Mm -hmm. Some people know what's happening, but the people that don't, majority of us don't, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And once you understand, oh, wow, 
I see why this is happening. Okay, this makes sense because I'm going to use an example. You know that movie that came out probably about two years ago? They cloned Tyrone. Yes, yes. That movie, you know, they hide these things in our, in the movies, right? Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, it's all Everything, the everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I watch that movie, now that I understand the subconscious mind, and Jamie Foxx, you remember when everybody was buying the, the church's chicken for real, that sandwich, and people were standing outside in the line and this, that, the other? When I saw that looking through the per, per, uh, perspective of a hypnotherapist, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my God, this mm -hmm. is real. Because mm -hmm. before I saw that movie, I used to say, and, I, and, and when everybody was buying the chicken sandwiches, I think this was before COVID. And I had no idea I ever wanted to study about the subconscious. I was not aware of things at that time. But looking back on it, I used to say, well, why would anybody be standing outside for a chicken sandwich? what is in the chicken sandwich mm -hmm. that would make people want to just, mm -hmm. you know, just be mm -hmm. standing out. I, I couldn't understand that. But mm -hmm. fast forward, seeing that movie, it kind of shows you mm -hmm. how they use hypnosis. You know, mm -hmm. they, they showed Jamie Foxx um, saying it's in the chicken. They're putting things in the chicken. Mm -hmm. You know, things are in our food that, you know, they're putting chemicals and different things in our food that is, that's making us um, want certain things. We don't know why we, we're we addicted to certain things. Mm -hmm. It was another um, um, scene in there where <laughs> I, you know, I have to get down on these pastors, especially because yeah, they're yeah, using... Yeah, go ahead. Hey, this channel, I get, we do it all on this channel. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. okay. I have to Drop get it. down yeah. on these pastors because mm -hmm. I don't like, I don't respect most pastors because they're not teaching the truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in that movie... Um, one of the scenes showed them at the church. They were all in the church mm -hmm. and the pastor was in the church. Okay, so everybody's clapping and praising God and, you know, everybody working up. Um, the pastor, while they're talking, because the pastor knows that when you're in praise and worship, your mind goes into a theta state, theta state. okay? Yes. yes. When your mind gets into that theta state, you know, the, we're, you're worshiping God, you you just in that theta state, which is a form of meditation as well, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the pastor starts saying in the movie, you 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 stay here, you're not going to get out the hood, basically, I'm, 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 I'm uh, paraphrasing, but he was you. saying suggestions out of his mouth while they were in that theta state, and that, then yeah. once the ceremony was over, I mean, once the, uh, the, um, Praise and worship is over that, you know, Jamie then was saying how basically, you know, they can never get out the hood, you know, because the preacher is telling you and putting a low frequency within you and feeding your subconscious fear, chaos, confusion, lack, that unworthiness. Yes. They that root chakra. You, yes. They're keeping you locked in that root chakra and you mm -hmm. can't understand why you can't get out the hood. You don't understand why you can't break free. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at the end of the movie, they never got out the hood, you know. That's right. That's right. But, but at the same time, these pastors know this, especially when they become bishops and they move up. You know, you got the preacher, then you got the minister. You know, the more they move up, just like in these secret societies, the more they know how to use their power to ma manipulate you, you know. So mm -hmm. hypnosis is you know, for some people, scary, but you need to know what's going on. You yes, got to know what's going on. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And I want to just piggyback off what you said on the movie. The sister knew what time it was. Yes. She noticed yes. she always knew what time it was. And she kept saying, I want to go to Memphis. Yeah. She kept saying, yes. I want to go to Memphis. She was talking about Egypt. Yeah, used to call Egypt Memphis. There's Memphis. Yes, Egypt. Yes, yes. I, in the movies, if the people know what they be doing in the movies, the sister yes. was always she was peeping the game and she was saving. She was saving Jamie a lot in that movie. If you yes. keep that, and yes, see, the sisters is it's important because if they get the sister, they got all of us. They got all of us. You know that's what I'm saying? We, they they yes. bought the sister. They really, you know. So, but yeah, yeah, that's a <laughs> that's good. That's good. So I'm gonna get to the next question. Okay. And we'll see. The next question is: Do you go into a deep sleep with um, hypnosis? Okay, good question. So when you go into hypnosis, no, well, let me say it this way. Mm -hmm. Most people, when I have my clients come in, once I get everybody, you know, get them comfortable and everything, you you may fall asleep during the hypnosis session, okay? Because again, I'm trying to get your mind in a theta state. 
And everybody goes into a theta state, whether you know it or not, every mm -hmm. night before you go to mm -hmm. sleep. So right that right before you go to sleep part of your night, you know, right before you fall asleep, that's a theta state. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting you into a theta state mm -hmm. while you're actually conscious of being in that state. Oh. Now, a lot of people who come and see me, I, I have more women clients than men clients, but most of the women that come to see me have been living, especially black women, we've been living in a fight or flight for a long time, survival yes. mode. That yes. is hereditary, yes. it's epigenetics, it's within us, and we're trying to break out of that, right? And yes. we're so used to being in that fight or flight when you go into a hypnosis state, sometimes it's hard to even relax because your mind starts to fight with, you know, trying to, you know, get it, what's happening, you know, you're you know, and your higher self and your lower self are really fighting yeah, each fight other. Because you. mm -hmm. I've been through that. Been yeah. <laughs> so it's fighting with each other. But yeah. once I get you into that theta state, get you comfortable, mm -hmm. you know, there are different types of hypnosis uh, sessions that we do. For the most part, I start with a relaxation because most people that come to me have, like I said, been in fight or flight for so long and they've never even experienced experienced hypnosis mm -hmm. so I, I i continue to do a relaxation first just to be able to let you know that you're safe let you know that okay it's okay to just let your mind go you're protected you're covered and so once your mind is in that theta state you could possibly fall asleep um my job is if you fall asleep i'm talking to your subconscious so you don't have to be aware remember use that example of when you went to you know started driving mm -hmm. You don't have to be, con you don't have to be, um, a, you know, awake, awake um, to, you know, to be in, go into hypnosis. But I will say this because a lot of people think that you lose um, all trains of thoughts, you know, like you lose control, like you go. And if you go into hypnosis, a lot of people think that I'm just going to tell all my secrets and I'm just going to lose control of my brain. And, you know, you know, it's not like that. Everything in hypnosis you are aware of, okay? You're aware, I'm teaching you that to be aware, actually, I'm teaching you to be aware. Um, so you're not losing control losing control mm -hmm. by any means, so. Indeed, 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 wonderful, wonderful. That was nice, I like the way you explained that. Okay, 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 moving on to the next question. The next question is, um, can you heal with hypnosis? Absolutely. Um, I always like to share my testimony because this is part of my life. This is part of why I started yes, please do. Please even do. doing hypnosis, period. Um, so I, I suffered with uh, anxiety and depression for <clears throat> at least two decades. Um, so um, it got to a point where it was just overbearing, um, the depression and the anxiety. Now, I did go to a medical doctor and you know what they gave me? Some pills to take, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. They gave me antidepressants and they gave me anxiety medicine to take. Now, the antidepressant medication is so dangerous. I, I don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. I recommend it if you need it. I'm not against some medical things, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once you, when, when your mind is on that uh, medication, it does... It, it slows down your, well, I won't say it so, slows down your subconscious, but it takes all your feelings away. It take when you should be crying about things, mm -hmm. it got to the point where I didn't even cry anymore. Okay. It takes all your feelings away. And so when you see the commercials that they play on the TV and they say, mm -hmm. if you suffer with uh, depression, come, you know, that lady that told the smiley face, that yeah. that's the commercial yeah. that <laughs> they got you smiling, but the side effects of the that side is, effects. Yeah, you want to kill yourself, okay? Mm. You know they don't tell you that big and bold. Yeah. Yes, you. So yeah. <laughs> it got to the point where I was having those suicidal thoughts that you know they say that you could have by taking this, and mm -hmm. I I just got tired of feeling numb. But anyway, I ended up going to having really a mental, if you want to call it a mental breakdown. For the most part, it's mm -hmm. just my body was tired of being in fight or flight. You know, it was sick and tired and be, being sick and tired. Mm -hmm. And I, once I had that break, I, I had to go see somebody. Okay. I just really wanted my brain taken out of my head so mm -hmm. it could just rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but there was no place here in Georgia to get 
like you go to a drug rehab facilitation. I needed something like that, but there's nothing here in Georgia. It was only you go to a mental institution. Mm. And if you do that, you know, they're just going to drug you up even more. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I, I didn't want that. Mm. My sister found this hypnosis and she read up on it. And um, she said, here, let's try this. And I said, I'll try anything at this point, you know? Mm -hmm. So I went to go see a hypnotherapist in mm -hmm. Fayetteville, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you this lady worked wonders on my mind. And after I got treatment and after I went through the, I, I saw her for like three months, mm -hmm. went through the treatment. And I say treatment, but I went through the steps mm -hmm. um, because it's steps. I learned how to, you know, be aware of things. I learned the patterns that, you know, that we 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 don't even realize that we are in. But mm -hmm. after going to see her for three months, mm -hmm. it changed my life. I stopped. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I stopped taking antidepressants. Mm -hmm. I right. stopped taking I stopped taking the um, anxiety medication. Nice. I, I was on a lot of medication i suffered from lupus you know lupus is mm -hmm. a lot of people Some that stay in fight or flight mm -hmm. yeah you stay in fight or flight for a long time you become most of us have lupus and don't even realize it especially mm -hmm. black women okay mm -hmm. uh, but that went away because mm -hmm. i slowed my body down and i got out of fight or flight mm -hmm. and i want every woman and man to get out of fight or flight, it will literally change the molecular structure of your body once you get out of fight or flight because it's not where we're supposed to be. I need to recommend my daughter-in-law to you. <laughs> Cause yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> it's I'm real. serious too. Yes, it's really yes. real. And a lot of times I, I won't be, I had never heard of hypnosis. I didn't really have a does it work or not work. A lot of people have to get over, does this really work or does it mm -hmm. not? So they fight mm -hmm. themselves, mm -hmm. but you have to work it so it'll work for you, right. okay? That's it's right. just like riding a bike. It's right. just like yeah. any type of training. You have to retrain yourself. You've been programmed for 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. You got to redo that, you know? Right. So yeah. I teach you exercises. I'm going to give you homework and you got to do this stuff. You got to listen to this stuff. You got to do what I'm telling you to do and you will get the results that you want. I don't hold hands. I don't hold your hand, you know, like, because I, when you come to me, mm -hmm. you got to be tired of being sick and tired and ready to stop whatever it is that you're doing to break that pattern, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much <laughs> that. With wonderful. That. I mean, Latanya, that's wonderful. I mean, right now my heart is smiling. Yeah. Because, I mean, I know my daughter-in-law can use you, possibly my son too. Mm -hmm. I have a 28 year old son. Okay. I'm not going too much, but yeah, um, I definitely will recommend them to you. But yeah, that's that's awesome. That's all good stuff, you know. Um, so I'm gonna go to the next question here. Okay. Is, is hypnosis safe? You know, hypnosis. someone came up to you and said, "If it's safe, what would you tell them?" I would definitely tell tell them that it's safe. Now, what I want to put out here is what one thing that we don't do as hypnotherapists is. If you are a person that suffers from schizophrenia mm -hmm. or anything like that, we will not do people with schizophrenia. OK, so I don't recommend if you and that's why we have to talk to a person to make sure that they are a viable candidate before I take you under. OK, because if you're suffering from schizophrenia with hypnosis, that could trigger something else within you. Because, again, I told you hypnosis is getting into that subconscious. And a lot of people that suffer from schizophrenia are very spiritually aligned and their subconscious works on a, no, a whole nother no. situation. You know, it works on a whole nother level than most people. So we don't want to trigger or injure anyone else, but, you no. know, injure that person if they suffer from schizophrenia or something like that. But outside of that, yes, it definitely is safe. Okay. okay. And like I tell you, tell people with it, all things, this is something you really have to be, whoever you're going to, whoever your hypnotherapist is, you want to make sure that you can trust them. Because again, there's good and bad and everything, okay? Mm -hmm. You got some people that will prey on the weak because if you come to see me, I know that mentally you are weak. Mm -hmm. I know that, and I'm not saying weak in a bad way. You're just at a lower 
frequency right now. And I would never take advantage of that. But you do have those evil people that will take advantage of vulnerable people. So I just tell people you make use your discernment, you know, do your own research before you go and see anybody, you know, mm -hmm. always know what you're getting into before you go do it, you know, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. overall, yes, it is definitely safe. Indeed, indeed. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm loving this interview so far. Because I'm learning a lot, you too. You yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love to nice. teach you. I can talk about this all day long. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Did you know, and, and I want to say when you, that, that tells me that you love what you do. I do. That's what I that really tells do. me, right? That yes. That's the kind of person you want. You know, yes. somebody working on you definitely want somebody that loves what they do. Absolutely. You know I mean? So, Absolutely. yeah. Okay. The next question is, um, let's see, can, um, can uh, hypnosis relieve suffering? It definitely can relieve suffering. You know, um, most people that come to me are suffering. They're, okay. they're suffering with different types of problems. I like to call them problems. One right. thing um, you've heard or probably seen, if, you know, in the movies, how they, you know, they always show per a person going into hypnosis as you're going into this right, trance, right. And, yeah. you know, yeah. you can yeah, put out. something in front of yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, now, okay. You got one of those pendulums, because a pendulum yeah. or something? Yes, that, that is a technique. It's, it's so technique. many different techniques. But okay, gotcha. I do have a pendulum, and I want to explain this pendulum to you guys. Yes, please. Yes, please. When they when they portray it on the TV, they make it seem like you're going to look at, what was that movie? I can't remember the movie when he was drinking the coffee. I don't remember the movie. I can't call it right now. But, you know, people see this pendulum and they get afraid and they be like, oh, my gosh, you're going to root you up and hypnotize you. Are you this talking about the movie um, with the with the brother in it when he was falling? Um, what's that movie he, where they get hypnotized? Uh huh. He was drinking the coffee, and they were um, tapping on that cup. Yeah, she tapped the cup. I yeah, can't get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Is a whole movie about hypnosis. Yeah, and you don't yes. even realize it. Okay, mm -hmm. but this is a method, and we use this mostly for kids. Okay, because again, there's different techniques that you take a person down with. I don't use this on adults that have never been uh, have hypnosis before because this would scare them. OK, mm -hmm. I want you to get comfortable and understand what I'm doing. But this is just a way to get your focus. That's that's mm -hmm. all it is, because we're trying to focus your mind. But the children, children um, over the below the age of 10 do really good with this. OK, okay, okay. Um, it was what was the question? Because I get off into my okay, yeah. The question was, um, uh, can hip can hypnosis relieve suffering? Oh, OK, yes. And and back to that, yes, it can relieve suffering. Um, it was something else I wanted to add to that. Um, but overall, yes, it can relieve suffering. It can relieve I, suffering. Okay, yes. good, good, indeed, indeed. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Yes, yes, go ahead. The the main thing, um, so when people come to a hypnosis, a hypnotherapist, you may have issues with smoking. Okay, this is one example. Uh, smoking, uh, weight loss, mm -hmm. Um we can help with all of that. So if you if you've been a chain smoker all your life, you can come to a hypnotherapist and we'll help you to stop with smoking. It's all mental. It's mental. all subconscious. Also, you know, overeating. That's, you know, two of the main big things. But yes, I went to when I went to school, I started writing my own curriculum because I started seeing what our demographic needed okay nice. most of the time they're not awesome. coming to me about smoking or losing weight because i'm gonna be honest once you attack that subconscious and you get down to why you're depressed and you slow your fight or get out of fight or flight a lot of things that you do will taper off just because you've got your ba body back into equilibrium yeah, okay mm -hmm. and so a lot of things will change and go away you know i'm not gonna say you'll stop smoking but it will become less and less because a lot of things we do, we do because we're trying to soothe something else that's in the root that you got to get to. And that's what hypnosis helps you with. So. Okay. Nice. Nice. Excellent. 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 Okay. Next question is, can hypnosis cure drug addiction? Yes. Yes, it can. I, I, let me say this. Uh -huh. 
it can assist in drug addiction. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. I like to say, I like to make sure I put the right information out. It can mm -hmm. assist, mm -hmm. but the person, just like if you go to an Alcoholics Anonymous, mm -hmm. you, the person, have to be ready to stop. Okay. And, and go through the, like you have to go through the 12 steps. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing. You got to go through the steps and do the exercises. You can't get a, you can't get a new outcome. You know, if you don't I'm change the, the behavior, mm -hmm. yeah, but and yes, it can, it can, if you follow the steps and go through the steps. Okay. Got mm -hmm. you. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Okay. What is the difference between hypnosis and meditation? Is there, cause they seem sound kind of similar. So I'm kind of curious if you can explain and give us the difference between, you know, the two. Okay. And they're one and the same, to be honest. Okay. Um, hypnotherapy. I mean, I'm sorry. Hypnosis is, again, your mind is going into a theta state and it's open to receive suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, meditation is the, really the same thing because when you meditate, you're just really going into a theta state, but you're more so in silence, depending upon how you meditate. OK, so they're really. It's not really a major difference. OK, again, some people can't really meditate because they can't sit still or and, and you can meditate in different forms. Meditation can be through dance, listen to, to music. But that silent meditation where you're just sitting still that we, we kind of see all the time. That is hard for people to do. OK, mm -hmm. but if you have a chatter, chattering mind, you know, it's kind of hard for you right, to go right, into right. that theta state. So mm -hmm. I kind of assist you in going into that theta state by speaking to you as you are going off into that state. So you can get into a meditative state, which will lead into a theta wave, you know, theta state. And right. eventually right. you will learn how to meditate better because I can meditate now. I could sit here and be looking at something and I'm off into meditation already, you know, and I used to couldn't do that, especially mm -hmm. when I, my, when I had anxiety, I could never sit still and just let my brain get quiet. Okay. Awesome. Indeed. Awesome. So let me ask you this. So, so meditation is a form of self hypnosis, maybe? Yes. Say? Yes, it sure is. Because okay. um, some of the exercises that I give my clients after you have your first session, mm -hmm. um, you have a, a assignment that you're going to do for the week. And I teach you how to self, self hypnotize yourself. Oh, okay. okay nice, um, nice. You should know how to do that because the people that control this world knows how to do it. They did exactly. You should know how to do it for yourself. That's right. Okay. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Um, can, um, can, can, hypno can hypnosis uh, heal seizures? That's a real good question. Um, now, let me say this, because I want you to understand the difference. So when a person is having a seizure, mm -hmm. that is something neurological going on, okay? Most of the time when a person goes into seizure, have a seizure, they're losing consciousness, okay? Mm -hmm. Hypnosis is not you losing consciousness, okay? Mm -hmm. So there is no science that proves that hypnosis helps person with seizures okay so i would not recommend i mean it's okay a person having a seizure okay you would not give a person hypnosis if they're in an active seizure because right. first of all they're incapacitated right. and right. they right. are unconscious so it wouldn't work right. now if you are just a person that has seizures here and there mm -hmm. yes you could do hypnosis okay yeah. um and could it help yes it could but mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that it's the, the cure to it all because that's neurological, okay? Gotcha. Hypnosis is you need to be aware. We want you conscious, okay? We want you to be conscious mm -hmm. because you do not lose consciousness when you're under hypnosis. Okay, okay. Wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, okay. Um, so um, uh, how long do these sessions last? Um, are they like, do, they, do you just offer like a certain 30 minutes, hour, hour and a half? I mean, can you kind of tell us how long these sessions last or what kind of happens in the session? Yes. So when you come to a session with me, especially if you're a first time client, mm -hmm. that session is going to last about two hours. OK, um, the first hour is just me really talking to you to assess who you are, where you are, 
what's going on with you at that moment. We're going to talk for an hour, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I let the spirit lead. It could be over an hour, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to you for an hour. I need to know you. You need to know me. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this is very intimate. Okay. This is very mm -hmm. spiritual. It's very healing. It's very, all of these things. So mm -hmm. I want to, I want you to feel me out and you need to feel me out. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in that hour talk, it's, it's just really me assessing and me trying to figure out, okay, what hypnosis technique I'm going to use with you. Mm -hmm. um, also, we're going to talk and debunk any fears that you may have, any concerns that you may have. Mm -hmm. And then after that, then I'll take you into my hypnosis room um, and then um, we'll go into a session. That part is an hour. I like to, you'll be under for an hour. Mm -hmm. And I also use sound uh, sound bowls in the sessions because mm -hmm. frequency healing, like I said, I started writing my own curriculum that helps best. And I, I found that sound therapy also is a good thing to integrate with that. So I integrate sound therapy as well with that. So awesome. two hours total for the whole your first session. And then after that, your next sessions, they're only an hour, you know, but that initial consultation is two hours. Then after that, it's an hour for each other session that you come to. Okay, wonderful, wonderful indeed, mm -hmm. indeed. So um, if you don't mind, do you mind discussing prices or? Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay, so, um, if, if <clears throat> someone's interested and wanted to book a session with you, what would they be looking at for a session? Okay. So again, the first session is two hours. I charge a hundred dollars per hour. And I will be honest because that, that first hour is teaching and just really getting to know you. I kind of give, I kind of give that for free. Okay. I really kind of give that for free. So it's um, that you're really only paying a hundred dollars for the first session. Okay. But then every session thereafter, it's a hundred dollars an hour per session. That's very, very reasonable. Mm -hmm. that's very reasonable and yeah. you know our our culture really needs it you know we do and really, that's why really i said is. i needed to you know make it affordable reasonable mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. right now i don't have an office so i work out of my home so i'm very selective mm -hmm. of who i let come here but at the mm -hmm. same time i do host events i've had about two events and i'll do a major you know i do like group events okay. um that i've you know done in the past but mm -hmm. I don't take insurance right now because I, my goal is to open my practice. That's what I put out into the universe. I want to get an office mm -hmm. and, um, you know, just really open it up. But, mm -hmm. you know, I want to try to keep it as reasonable as possible. Oh, yeah, sister. I, I see you doing all that. I see you with an office. Thank you. Clients changing the Thank world. You. With this, you know what I mean? Thank That's you. what I see. You know, I, I, I see it all over you, you know. Thank you. Yeah, Thank it's a beautiful you. thing. But um, this interview was just wonderful. I mean, Thank it was you. great. I mean, it did. It was good to my soul. I learned a lot. And like I said, I'm going to refer my daughter-in-law and my son to you. Really. Awesome. Really yes, they can please. Use, they, they can definitely use it because they don't listen to me. So right. they listen to somebody else. So You know, you always um, got to refer the children out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. So um, I want you to tell everybody how they can get in contact with you, what you got going on. You got any events going on? Just tell the people, you know, a little something about yourself and how they can reach you if they want to book an appointment. Okay. So um, you can reach me right now. You can reach me at Inward Journey. Um, I'm on um, Facebook, Inward Journey. And um, what is it? Uh, Instagram, Inward Journey. You can reach me on Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Um, you can reach me um, if you want to send me an email. You can send the uh, emails to lholmes48 at yahoo.com if you have any questions. Um, but if you go to those two sites, you can that's where you can reach me and also through my email that I just gave out. Um, as far as events, um, I had an event in April um, on, uh, what was it, 420. That was my first event. Well, second event that I, well, actually it wasn't even my second. It's probably my third, but okay. um well, my yes, third might event. Be to the next one. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll okay. definitely do it. Okay. Um, but I had one in April. Mm -hmm. um, I had planned to, you know, do some more events, but I had some family things going on. So I haven't planned another one yet. But I look forward to planning one before the 
before the winter, before the winter. I let spirit move me when it's time because I have to rent a place and do that. But mm -hmm. um, I was trying to find a place to have it at a pool. That's where spirit is telling me to do the next one. Right. I want to do it inside at a pool right. with mm -hmm. that water, with the sound bowls. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And I, I want to. I want to. <laughs> yeah, I want to get that energy right there, and uh, yeah. I, it's going to be so calming. You know, I want our mm. people to. I want us to have some peace. Our ancestors right. couldn't yes. have any peace. I say, I say. They they paved the way for us, and we're the generation to break the things that they couldn't do. Okay, that's right. so that's I, right. I'm, I say that that's where I am yes. with it right now. So say, wonderful, 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 wonderful. This was such a great interview. Um, Latanya was very nice interviewing you it was really nice meeting you at gathering of the masters thank you that same, was wonderful same. i think i'm still riding that energy a little bit i am too I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but it was wonderful talking with you um it was great i hope um millions of people call you and, and thank you book with you and like i said i already see this going far and you know thank you i see thank you doing you. great things with this and i thank you for taking thank some time you. out today and coming on my channel and doing this so we can let the people know about hypnosis and um you know We'll do this again sometime. We definitely got. We do sure will. Again, we sure you know, will. You know. So and until the next time, you know. I guess we'll talk later. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Peace. Thank you. Right. Thank Peace. you so much. Peace. Peace. <laughs>